Hi there, I'm Adam from Arcademia, and in this video, we're going to be using Procreate to turn a 2D floor plan into a nice isometric cutaway diagram. The lesson is beginner friendly, and it's basically split into three parts. The first is getting you set up and creating guides so we can do a nice, neat, detailed drawing. The middle section is about adding that detail and the accuracy to the drawing itself. And then the final part is adding color and a little bit of shading. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get stuck in. First, import the drawing, turn on your drawing guides, set it to isometric, rotate the grid 90 degrees, and then skew the import to align to the grid. And make sure that you're selecting midpoints along the line so it all kind of skews proportional. create a template layer to trace around the ground floor, kind of the perimeter, um, to help guide the 3D drawing later down the line. Duplicate this guide layer vertically, make sure it snaps vertically, then draw vertical lines to form the basis of the 3D drawing. Make sure to have a little play with the opacity of guide layers so it clears the way to add details. And then the next layer is still a guide, but it's kind of another, another crack at it, if you like. And it then will give us that kind of final info to create the proper drawing. Make a new layer for your internal walls and by doing that you're giving yourself maximum control and maximum flexibility. If in doubt, put it on a new layer, the more the better. Again, don't be shy in having a quick play with your layers, turning them on and off and opacity levels, just to give you a sense of where you're up to and what the layers are sort of doing. 
Now that we've had two cracks at the drawing and we've got plenty of guides to work to, it's time for the final layers, starting with the external walls. And what we want to do here is show a cutaway. So we're just picking an area where we're going to slice into the external wall so we can show off the internal layout. those steps for the internal walls and don't forget to put that on a new layer. shy in refining any line work that you see any errors or you want to thicken some areas. Now to bring the whole thing to life we're going to start adding furniture and remember keep to the same principles as before start with a guide layer or two it actually just to get a little feel for it initially but then obviously it gives us that structure for the, the more detailed final layer. create a new layer for your final furniture details. And a pro tip as we start to move into the fill section is make sure that all your different layers, all the line work are in closed loops so that when we fill in zones, Procreate recognizes them. To then start to fill the whole drawing, we need to just go through each layer and make sure that everything is in a closed loop. And the easiest way to do that is by actually merging layers down. So make a duplicate of all your layers so you've got a copy in case we make any mistakes and then start to merge them and then we can easily add colour. Thank you. 
To quickly fill an area, select the color from the top right of the canvas, and then just drag and drop the, the color dot, if you like, and then drag and drop that to your desired area, and it just fills the zone, it's brilliant. To give a sense of depth to your colouring and your shading, try darker shades of your fill colours and almost pick a direction where the sun's coming from and then put a darker shade on the opposing side. Then with all the layers turned back on, you might have to just do a little bit of refinement because um, sometimes we're working in isolation. So have a little play with, uh, you know, rubbing things out and what have you, different plays with opacity and all that sort of stuff, just to refine it with the, the sort of the bigger picture now all presented. and then zoom out and admire your work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And to learn more about Academia, check out the links in the description below.